Serious, what is the most interesting thing you have ever seen a smartphone or tablet used for? Word lens. It translates text using your phone's camera. No internet connection needed. I used it in Germany, Spain, France, and Italy to translate menus, maps, signs, etc. into English. Saved my butt many many times. Comma no internet connection needed. This is, by far, the best thing. Every time I find out an app doesn't work without an internet connection, I want to strangle the developer. A $400 iPhone app that is designed for use by piano technicians. When you tune a piano the frame bends slightly so if you tune each string at a time by the time you reach the end the strings you tuned first are out of tune. This app tells you what to tune the strings to at the start so when the frame bends it pulls all the strings in the right tuning. Pretty interesting stuff for a pretty boring sounding job. My friend is a piano tuner, I've never asked him much about it. Now I'll make sure to never ask him about it. Laborious as heck. There's a bar where I live that uses RFID bracelets to allow you to pour your own beer. There's a whole wall of tabs and over each one is a tablet. Not sure which kind. Held in place by a wooden frame. The tablet provides pricing info and a description of each drink. When you've picked the one you want you tap your bracelet against the tablet and voila, you can pour your own beer. Just saw this kind of thing the other day, they use cards instead of bracelets, though, but the bar had 10 taps around the wall that you could use, or you could sit at one of many booths that had 2 taps at each, just swipe your card on the tablet and you are good. I use FaceTime to help find trapped birds in attics. It's really easy to use a phone backwards on a selfie stick to scout out an attic and look around all the corners. Perhaps not super interesting so much as super useful. Biggest catch so far was a nest of 7 baby birds. D. Selfie sticks. Only okay when saving baby birds. One time I was in the store buying lots of stuff. At the register I noticed I forgot my wallet. And I didn't want to leave and come back. So I just tapped my phone to the card swiper and paid with Google Wallet. The old lady had a look of disbelief when it started spitting out a receipt. That on an iPad my 90 year old dad who is computer illiterate, pretty deaf and almost blind can use headphones and watch football games and generally navigate NFL game pass. Even though UI is very senior unfriendly and probably designed by a 22 year old. I like seeing them linked. Like a SNES controller on a smartphone and the game on a tablet. Or Scrabble where the tiles are on the phone and the board is in the middle of the table. Honestly, it's still Spotify for me. I'm 41 and if someone was going to tell me when I was a kid that someday I will have access to just about any song in the world in a device about the size of a cassette I would think they were crazy. I just got 6 months premium with my new phone contract today and it's blowing my mind. Haven't used it in 3 years and it's gotten a lot better. Wasting tax money, you see. I work with security software for mobile devices and a county decided to buy a few hundred iPads to their employees. They then used our software to lock down almost everything on it. This means no camera, no social media apps allowed, only a few select web pages allowed in the web browser and a bunch of other restrictions. It became more or less a digital notebook. They could have done the same thing to cheap Android tablets and achieved the same result. Ha. I was just installing iPads like that into a large conference room the other day. They were also paid for with tax money. No custom apps or anything that required an iPad. When I was having trouble with my satellite television provider, the guy who fixed it had an app that located the correct satellite. Found out that the upper branches of my neighbor's tree were not in the way, but during storms they would move and interfere with the signal. RIP tree branches. My cousin is a speech therapist who just finished working overseas in Colorado. She downloaded this app of a talking cat, where you talk to the cat and tell it what to do. She uses the app to get children to tell the cat what to do to try and make him as happy as possible. It was a really good idea, and definitely showed results. When Xbox launched their first interactive app which allowed you to control your gaming console via smartphone. I had so much fun opening the Xbox menu, while my brother was playing upstairs. He never got it it was me the whole time. Instant messaging. When I was a kid, 
Only rich adults had cell phones and anyone wanting to chat via AMICQ MSN Yahoo IKTC had to go home and dial into the internet over a phone line. There were programs like Trillion and Game that let you log into all of those services at once so you didn't have to run 5 different IM clients just to talk to all your friends. They made me feel like a tacky badass. One day in late 2010, I was walking through Costco iming from my phone and just marveling at how awesome it was to have game in my pocket. So it was like a reverse waff. One of my teachers has an iPad set up to take roll at the beginning of class. There are these QR codes that we were handed on the first day, which have a code specific to our names. Of course, if someone forgets their code she can enter them into the attendance log manually, but I think it's a pretty cool way to get things taken care of with minimal effort on the teacher's part. My school had giant touch screen boards that the teacher would hook their laptop up to and everyone could interact with. As you walked in you would drag your name into the present box on a powerpoint presentation he set up. When I worked as a cashier, a woman spent 5 minutes on her phone to open up a Google Plus account to show me the picture of herself on there to show me her id. What a time to be alive. Someone had used an iPad to display a beating heart and incorporated that into a Halloween costume. It was extremely well done and looked super spiffy. I think I remember seeing something similar to that on reddit a while back, only it was two iPads on either side of a person's body to simulate having a hole through their stomach. My husband is a mechanical engineer which, to you and me, means he draws stuff on the computer with a special program, SolidWorks, for drawing stuff on the computer, SolidWorks developed an iPad app. It was free when we were checking it out, that allows you to see what you've drawn in 3 dimensional space just by scanning a QR code. As you move the iPad around the QR code you see the thing you drew as if it was sitting in front of you. Pretty freaking cool. I am a construction estimator. I have a laser measuring device which Bluetooth links to my CAD program on my tablet. I can measure and create floor plans of giant houses in under 15 minutes. Blows customers minds every time. I'm wondering when the lasers will be mounted on a drone which follows you through the house. Just walk from room to room and you're done. And the 3D software could show you if there are any volumes you haven't scanned. When I was in high school there were big flat screen TVs in the lunch room. Some guy kept switching the channel with his phone and nobody could stop him. The stuff changed the channel back to city programming. And it'd go to Tosh. Zero featuring people flashing in public seconds later. And then when they turned the TV off and gave up, this dude would just switch it back on. He never got caught. I've been to a couple of coffee shops that use an iPad as a point of sale system. They put in your order, swipe your card, and then flip the tablet over so you can sign your name and add a tip if you want. From the UK and when I went to Amsterdam this shocked me. Literally every shop uses an iPad as their till it was mad. Back when I played WoW. I would use my phone to remote into my PC to put me in queue so by the time I got home from work I was ready to go or only have a little while to wait instead of an hour plus. Also to bring up notepad and type messages to my GF to freak her out. That worked a couple times. I love how my iPad and Xbox One can communicate and instead of using the controller to tediously pick each letter on the TV screen, I can just quickly type it on my iPad. Turning off the home alarm system from the garage while turning on lights, preset on dimmers, and, if desired, engaging the house's sound system to play whatever music was programmed sequentially in the queue. Also, doing all of this automatically when you the phone comes into range is pretty great. My friend teaches kindergarten, and she says her phone is the most indispensable thing she has. She can videotape kids giving explanations of things, take pictures of their creations in class, use Evernote to record her observations, and send things to eager parents quickly. I never thought about it, but if the kids can't read or write yet, you need other ways to record their learning. It sounded really cool. Your phone can predict what you're going to do next based on past behavioral data, your habits and core data like contacts, emails, photos, FB, etc. Its ability to predict may even be better than yours as humans tend to forget and fall for the same trick subconsciously. I'll just have one beer. To be honest, for me it was a restaurant allowing you to order food from your smart device if you downloaded their app. 
It makes so much sense because it means that there is no chance in confusing orders. Though I suppose you could have ordered food for other people so I don't know how it worked. Hong Sheng Chiang created a way of using a smartphone so that you could see the back of the eye. It's a pretty amazing featuring and it only costs $20, enabling people in poor countries to have a chance at vision. I work in a hospital. I've got a patient that is deaf and mute. Normally we have whiteboards, a pen and paper, or special boards with pictures on them to help us communicate with the patient. This patient had a tablet on a wheeled stand next to her bed. When activated it has a menu that pops up and directs you to a life sign language specialist for a FaceTime chat. After a few questions these two were signing back and forth. And I asked the man to tell the woman she had a stress test in a few hours and not to drink any coffee, and to fence a breakfast by 9 o'clock. It was kind of impressive. I wanted to just sit and talk to the interpreter for a few minutes, but alas we both had jobs to do. Still probably the best use of technology I've seen around this hospital in a while. There are a lot of people on Reddit who have used a smartphone camera to examine their own anus. Both for reasons of medical necessity and sexual curiosity. Maybe it's just me, but I find that to be an interesting use. One of the few that Steve Jobs probably didn't anticipate. When YouTube app integrated the feature that lets you pair your device with a console or Chromecast and then change songs playlists from your phone. So handy for parties. My little brother with severe autism is non-verbal. He uses an app that he can touch pictures and the iPad says what he wants through the speaker. Even though it's mostly food, it's really cool that his iPad gives him a voice he otherwise does not have. Love you Max Man. I work at a school where everyone has a tablet for homeworks, notes, everything. But by everyone I mean that the school requires it. Okay, we all knew it would someday happen, but when you see it, it's still amazing. My mom is deaf in one ear and limited hearing overall. Her hearing aids connect to her iPhone and she is able to fin attune the settings and levels of different frequencies of noise. When she's talking on the phone, she can also set it so that the other person's voice plays directly out of the hearing aid speaker instead of through the phone. It's amazing. She hears better than she has in years despite aging. It's just that good. Lighting designer here. There is an app for my iPhone that allows me to control all of my lights from anywhere within range of my console. People are always impressed when I can run a show from my phone whilst on stage. Using the camera with zoom as a magnifier is pretty handy. Also, my car has an app that allows me to check if it is locked, and lock it if it's not, start the heater system, can set two different timers, locate it by GPS, when in a huge parking lot, and lots of other cool stuff. My family recently got a software upgrade with our pool system that allows us to control everything from an app on our phone. We can change the color of the lights, we can turn it on or off, we can even turn on our hot tub from wherever we're at so that it's hot by the time we get home. I used to use my old iPhone 4S with a life proof case on as a door prop to keep the door open. It works surprisingly well. I did a home theater install for a couple with a huge house on a lake, 110 inches screen, ceiling mounted projector, in wall 7.1 surround sound, plus in ceiling speakers throughout the house and on the back deck. Additionally, they had security cameras in various locations. All wiring went down into a closet with a server rack and various equipment, all music, all TVs, every speaker in the house, plus the security cameras, were accessed and controlled from a Samsung tablet. I use my smartphone to control an entire automated warehouse in real time including conveyors, rollers, and cranes. Still makes me laugh when I'm standing somewhere controlling a crane with my phone. A sushi place I go to use is iPads for the ordering system. Just put a little plus one beside the items you want and once you have everything, hit submit order and then the order comes right to your table. Probably using it as a card terminal. You plug the card reader into the freaking 3.5mm audio jack, install an app and you can take credit and debit card payments on your phone. I have iPads throughout my office space which control every aspect of the space. From lighting, to blinds, to presentation sources, I can route inputs from any room into any screen. 
broadcast to multiple screens, etc. Also can use the iPad to monitor room cameras, presentation sources, and remotely control entire rooms. Police scanner. Sometimes I have to work in parts of Chicago that are gang infested. I crank up the police scanner and put my phone in front pocket. Anyone near me hears the chatter and if they are up to no good, they scatter like rats. I know I'm late here, but has anyone seen 360 o videos on YouTube? Seriously check those out, it's like looking straight into the future. Must watch it on your phone, laptops do not work the same. I used mine as an altimeter. My mother had surgery on her eyes, and had an air bubble put in place to hold in her retina. My brother at the time was graduation from A school and we were schlepping out see him graduate and see him off on his new adventure. We were going to have to go over some mountains to get to where he was, and granted we already checked altitudes to see if it was safe for my mother to travel. I downloaded an altimeter as a safety net. Good news was, it worked and mom made it safe and sound. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.